I have done something crazy and cool. In true Sarafina style, I'm like, what can we do for the end of 2022? Something random, something crazy, something fun, something cycling. electrolytes and stuff as well so and put the chamois cream on my shorts I think that's all I did to prep and uh, into it all right let's go see what kangaroo island is like <laughs> I must say a shout out to Colin at Sea Link when I rang up yesterday because this was a very 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 last minute thing to do at four o'clock yesterday I rang up explained what I wanted to do and um, Colin's like, hey, I watch your show, Serafina. I know who you are. And I'm like, that is so cool. That is so cool. So shout out to you, Colin. Thank you so much for helping us with this last minute um, adventure, this crazy adventure. And also another shout out to Heidi and Brett. We just met you at Delamere store when we stopped to pick up some baked beans so that we could eat on the way over. Um, so shout out to you. Uh, it was awesome catching up and saying hi and do follow along on Strava and YouTube. And that's awesome. I love meeting you guys. Hey, we're here. That was about a 45 minute ferry crossing. That was fun. That was really fun. All right, let's go get our bikes. They're tied up down there and then go check it out. <laughs> Back by 4:30. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right. The sign 
Valentine's own beach in town centre, so we'll head that way first. on Kangaroo Island. It's good. It's really good. Segment block 40 by now port by Gravel. Alright, first climb done on Kangaroo Island. It was really steep. It was really straight, the steep, it went straight into it. It was tarmac, then it turned into gravel. But the gravel is pretty good. It's really compact, it's almost like concrete. But and we've been riding on it for about 18 kilometers. <laughs> and it's just like non-stop. Oh my goodness. You wouldn't want to bring um, your bike if it hasn't got enough bolts and screws and stuff in it because you're just visiting in there on your butt and while your bike's all falling apart around you. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty though. Haven't seen any kangaroos. Um, but yeah, it just feels really nice out here. But I must say, I do, you know guys, know how much I love gravel. I'm looking forward to getting on some tarmac. <laughs> but it's really, really cool out here. It's cool, but yeah, check out the road. It's just bumpy. Bum, 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 bum. And lots of potholes. I see the end of the road. Woo. Here we go, Cape Wallaby. And tarmac. Yeah, kind of. Not tarmac. Bumpity bump, bump, bump. <laughs> Same again. <laughs> Oh, cool, we made it to the lighthouse. We're gonna go check that out. Lighthouses are fascinating. They're so fascinating. Like just the spirally staircases that go to the top and the waves crashing into them. And like, you know, the ones that are out in the middle of nowhere, like they're just amazing. Like they're just so fascinating. People who live in lighthouses. I wonder if anyone lives there. You know, I don't think we can come this way. No entry. We'll try the other way around. Look at the center. Here we go in here. Learn more about it. That's so cool. It's such a cool lighthouse. Okay guys, we didn't go in because there is, um, it takes time to go and do a tour. There's a fee to enter and go and do the tour, which is really cool and I'd love to come back and do it. Um, this is 170 years old and it's the oldest lighthouse in South Australia. How cool is that? And I asked them, there's um, people there who do the tour and stuff, and I asked them, oh, what like Cape Willoughby like what's that named after and this lady there she was saying that there's this Josiah Nesbitt Willoughby there's a story around this person so you have to come here and find out because she was telling me this story and I'm like oh that is such a cool story but I'm not going to tell you guys you have to come here and find out for yourself so I want to come back on another day and do a proper tour show you guys 
um, but for now, got to go back along that really bumpy road da -da 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 -da, and head back that way, do a little bit more riding so that we've got to be back at the ferry by 4.30. The ferry leaves at 4.30 so, and my butt is so sore because it was like da -da 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 -da. <laughs> It's such a cute lighthouse though. Come and check it out. Yeah, I like it. And these are the tenants' cottages and stuff like that. So lots of history here. Okay, on with the ride. <laughs> Oh yeah. We're just back on the tarmac and I could kiss it, I could kiss it. We've just done 45 k's of gravel, but not your regular gravel, like the most insanely bumpy gravel I've ever experienced. Oh my goodness. I love tarmac right now. <laughs> Alright, pick up the speed. Uh, <laughs> guys, on the boat again, back to Australia, <laughs> the mainland. I am feeling pooped, but it's a good kind of poop. We've just topped up on a bunch of food. Um, we've done 190 kilometers. We did about 70 kilometers around Kangaroo Island on like only such a small portion of it. I didn't realize how big it is. Like, and about 60% of that was gravel. You know, like, da -da 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 -da. Everything in my body was vibrating just like constantly. I think that's what exhausted me. But yeah, I'll show you. Like, the map over here. Have a look at this. So here. Look at this. Oh, sure they won't mind if I come up here. So see here, this is so this is all of this here is all of Kangaroo Island. And this is it here, it's pretty big. But what we did is we went from here and we went down here, over to here, up here, back around, up to here. <laughs> so as you can see, we didn't really cover much of Kangaroo Island at all. It's like there's so much more to see and do here. So I'm really excited to come back and um, and see it again and explore more and do more. I think next time though, and I'll just get off the seat. <laughs> I think next time though, I'm going to I reckon a gravel bike. So I don't know about you guys, but like a lot of people have said. Yeah, the, the roads are not good on Kangaroo Island. So on a road bike, they're not good. But I think on a gravel bike, or just be prepared for the da -da 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 -da. But yeah, mountain bike or gravel bike, I think, is the way to do it next time. Isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. All right, sit down, chillax. I've got charges here, so I'm charging the phone, Garmin, and a light because it's going to be dark when we're going back, and my light's looking pretty flat. So we're just charging that now. So yeah. Back and enjoy the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Got this. Oh, Alright, back to Adelaide. 100 kilometers. My kangaroo island. We'll come back another day. Spend more time. Hey guys, oh my goodness. We've done about 225 kilometers and my butt is so sore. I've never had this before. I think it's because when we're in on, on um, Kangaroo Island on that 40 kilometers of just do, 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 it just like it's done this thing. Yeah, it's so painful. So I've, I know some of you talk about having sore butts when you ride, and it's like, oh, I get it now. I think I might need some painkillers. But um, yeah, we've had to. We were going to stop in um, Yankalilla at the supermarket, but it's closed because it's um 6:30 at night or something. And so we've had to backtrack to Normanville and pop into this service station petrol station and um just grab some food and water and supplies from here so yeah. oh, my soul <laughs> And about three and a half thousand climbing. 
I can't believe it. It's really crazy. Like I feel like my energy feels good, but I am so sore. I am so sore. My butt hurts, my legs hurt, everything just hurts. I reckon it's because of that 40 Ks on that jiggity road. Um, but that was amazing. What an epic adventure and what an amazing way to end 2022. And on the spur of the moment, because I only decided to do this yesterday at four o'clock, so booked the, the ferry and everything. So yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome. Um, I highly recommend it. You know, like it's just that if you want to do something, push yourself and just like, just do it. Like it hurts, it's hard. Like, you know, you go through moments of like, why am I doing this? <laughs> and then the last bit coming back, it was dark and it was just felt forever in the dark at night time. But you just keep going, right? You just keep going, you just keep going. And then you're done and then you're like, yeah, I'm sore. I hurt, this is gonna take two days to recover probably. But yeah. <laughs> Never give up on yourself. Alright, see you in... No, it's okay.